Hi everyone, welcome to our final Crafty Monday. You cannot see my face because of my camera, but it's Miss Lauren. And today, we are going to make little rainbows that you can hang on your refrigerator, you can hang in your window, whatever you'd like. And the materials we'll need are six popsicle sticks. I'm using jumbo kinds. You will need some paint brushes. I'm going to use this guy, the really big one. And you need all the colors of paint that you're going to be using. So, you will also need some glue sticks and some cotton balls and something to hang your rainbow on. So we are going to get started, and there's my dog, he's going to come and hang out. We are going to get started just by painting our popsicle sticks. Now you can paint the front and back if you'd like, but I don't have a tablecloth, so I'm only going to paint the front very carefully. So we're going to start with our first color of the rainbow, and that is red. So we're going to just carefully paint, and as you can see, I'm getting some paint on my table, but that's okay. I've gotten a lot of paint on this table before. So we're going to paint this a nice red, and we're going to rinse our brush. Put the cap back on that, and we are going to take out our orange now. So our red is all done. Orange comes next in the rainbow. I have all of the colors of the rainbow that we're going to be able to use. And they're all washable, so that means that this paint that I'm getting on my table won't be too big of a deal. So we're going to paint this. So we've got our red and we've got our orange. We're going to rinse that off. And then we need yellow. this guy and we need yellow so I was going to pause the video and you know let these kind of dry off before we did anything more but this paint seems to be pretty fast drying but if your paint is not fast drying by all means take a break once you get everything painted in order to you know let it all dry before you start gluing everything Next, we need our green, which is my favorite color. So we're halfway done with our painting. I'm paint this guy green. Oh, and it's a very pretty green, too. The last time we were painting together, we only really used black and pink, and I think a little bit of white. Or maybe it was orange or yellow. Okay, so we are halfway done. Next, we will need to use our blue. Ooh, there's a lot of blue in here, and it's a very pretty old cubby blue, I think. Or maybe more like a royal blue, or cerulean. It's very pretty. So what I'm using are just, they're just little Crayola pots of paint. I got them at Target. They weren't expensive at all. And they are coming in handy this summer with all of these Crafty Monday programs we're doing, aren't they? Okay. And last but not least, we are going to use purple. I like purple a lot, too. Purple, I think, is my second favorite color, but my first favorite color is green. Like all the pretty grass and all the pretty trees around town. And if you want to go back and watch my nature walk, we talked a lot about stuff that was green. Okay, so we have our rainbow. We have our stick rainbow. So I am going to just pause for a minute and make sure that all of this dries. So we will just be back momentarily. Perhaps. Get out of here. Okay, and we're back. And we've got our handy dandy glue stick. So this is a purple glue stick. It's brand new. So it might look purple when we first start gluing, but it will dry clear. So we're just going to put some glue all on the side of our first popsicle stick on old red here. And then we are going to kind of 
mush them together like that. And hopefully they stick. It doesn't look like they want to, so let's try. Making that and have a double. That's better, okay. So then we're gonna do the same with this one. So we're going to get both sides of the yellow. This is all trial and error, just like with any kind of craft, any kind of coating. So I'm going to stick those together. And then we're going to do both sides of the green. Just like that. Oh no! We'll try that again. We'll stick them, and then we will... Hold them and kind of let them dry. That orange, I'm telling you, does not want to be a part of the rainbow. Okay. And then we'll do our pretty, pretty blue. Our pretty cerulean. That was not necessarily all dried yet, but that's okay. And we'll smoosh him on there. And then we'll get this guy. Our final handy dandy purple. And it matches with the glue, so that's convenient. I didn't need to glue both sides of that, but I did. So, okay, we have our little rainbow glued together. My hands are sticky. That's why it's kind of falling all apart. So we're going to let that dry. And then we are going to get out our wonderful cotton balls and I'm just going to put a whole handful of them up here. So this is going to be our beautiful cloud on our rainbow. Whoops, I dropped one on my floor. And my dog wanted to eat it. That's silly. So what we're going to do is we're kind of just going to go like this and kind of get glue all on there. And we're just going to stick, 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 and stick. Stick. This actually might help the the sticks stick together as well, for lack of a better word. Okay, and we're going to do another row of clouds. And you know, it's kind of a cloudy day today, so this is very fitting. Because I'm recording this on Sunday. Okay. So there you have it, guys. And once that all dries, you can take some yarn, you can take a string, you can take a little magnet, whatever you want to put on here so you can hang up your little rainbow in your cloud. And you know, I think it's fitting, not only because it's raining, but because you know, at the end of the day, there is going to be a little rainbow at the end of this all this COVID-19 business. And this will help you look on that bright side. So thank you for joining us for our last Crafty Monday for summer reading. We will see you guys at the library very soon. Have a great day.